he, he had a bad rep with a lot of people because, you know, a lot of guys thought they should have been paid better and, and maybe, maybe they should have, but they were, you know, you know, but Bill didn't put up with any BS. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you're either on board or there's the door, you know, take it or leave it. Man, so. he's, he is a, a polarizing character in some circles. Uh, most people do regard him as being a, a wrestling genius. And let me say, going back and watching a lot of this Mid-South stuff, I, I can see why people view him in that light because a lot of it is really, really great, entertaining stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, seeing as this is our first Mid-South episode, Ted, uh, let's start here. Bill, as as you mentioned before, is strong personality. It's kind of a my way or the highway type approach. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, we've also mentioned on the show before how he and Jake never got along. I spoke yeah. to Jim Duggan about him before, and uh, Duggan said that Bill could be a bully. Yeah. Uh, now, you personally, did you ever experience any issues of that nature with him, or was it all good? You know, uh, my my relationship with Bill has been, you know, pretty, you know, affable i guess would you say because you know i never um i, I never had any, any confrontations with him i mean it's kind of like um i learned a lot by watching bill in terms of you know and i and, and i guess you know you know and you know jake's personality um and of course you know uh, you know the other part of it is you know like jake's dad worked for bill Yes. And, and I don't know if any of that enters into it because Jake and I have never really talked about it. But, uh, you know, no, Bill wasn't one of Jake's favorite people. Uh, but, I mean, it's kind of like the main thing for most guys is, you know, like, uh, you know, how, how you're taken care of. And, you know, um, because I started there and, and because, and I mean, I was there for like a little over a year and then I went back to work in Texas where I had played football the, in the funk territory, mm -hmm. what was considered the Amarillo territory for a while. Uh, and, you know, then I went uh, very briefly to New York, but then when I came back from New York, I went back to work for Bill. And it, and then, then I went to Georgia, you know, and yes. then when I left Georgia, I went back to work for Bill because, you know, in my opinion, it was one of the, I mean, it was kind of like he does it right. And, and, and I have no, it's kind of like if you're a professional wrestler in those days, you could, you could always say, you know, I should be paid more. But again, being that it's kind of like, and until Vince McMahon took the WWF and went national with it, there wasn't any place else. I mean, it's like, you're either going to, you know, you're either, either going to go to another territory and, you know, you're going to have the same issue there. Uh, the promoter, you know, you're always going to feel like he should, should pay you more. And, and there were, there were some times when, uh, I felt like, yeah, I should have gotten a little more, but not, you know, because I never did that. I never did complain. Uh, and in the long run, I feel like I got treated better. Interesting, you know, because that is kind of uh, the the rap on wrestlers, you know, especially back in the territory days when it was like, you know, all handshake deals is that, you know, you would hear that a lot of the guys back in the day, if they didn't like a payoff, they were coming to the guy and saying, hey, look, you know, we had a house like this. I think I should have been paid like that. Um, so it, interesting uh, to hear that, you know, you weren't falling under that category. Um, well, you know, my I kind, of, kind of the way I looked at it is like when you look at that and you you go and you complain and nothing happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like, okay, if, if you went and you complained and you got more money, well, okay. Then if it happens again, I'll complain again. But I didn't see anybody that was complaining that was ever given an, an extra dime. Right. So, that's that's it too and yeah. you know you, you we also hear all the time that guys will complain about creative and they'll say okay what what do you have in mind and they're like well nothing i just i don't like your stuff and it's like well that's not the right answer yeah. <laughs> like if, if you're gonna complain you better have a backup plan well and that's and that and again i mean even bill said that i mean he said uh we can agree to disagree you know he says but he says if if you don't like something then when you come to me and tell me you don't like it, don't just come and tell me you don't like it. Tell me what else we can do. Mm -hmm. You know, give me a, a better idea. So, 
anyway. Um, now, I do want to ask, did you ever see him bullying other talents? You know, I, I hear stories all the time about him kind of being rough with guys. Maybe like a, a good example is him saying that he wanted to see guys uh, attack a little bit more fiercely in the ring. And I think this actually happened to Arn Anderson. He just hauled off and just punched Arn, <laughs> like to kind of show guys, you know, what, what he wanted to see out there in the ring. You ever witness any of that? Well, no, I never, you know. I never went witnessed that. I mean, and I know Arn real well. I I think Arn would have <laughs> would would have said something to me about it. But I mean, I I never saw anything. But I I guess you know, yeah. I mean, Bill could be a bit of a bully, but uh, it just you know, it's like relationships. And, and a lot a lot of the guys that 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 uh, really voiced an angst about Bill, you know, they, they weren't exactly the you know the best guys in the world either. It's kind of like sometimes it's, you know, you, you know, I don't know. No, I, I, look, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't want to knock anybody. No, no. Uh, I, but, and look, like a, a guy like Jake with his strong personality, I don't see him meshing well with a guy like Bill who also has a strong personality, you yeah, know? Yeah. Well, there's, as we know, there's, there's a lot more to discuss with Mid-South. I'm sure that we'll, we'll return to the subject of Bill Watts uh, in the future.